In today's painting, I'm doing another pendulum pour. This one was actually a request from a friend of mine to do a brighter blue background. So I have um, a Sherwin-Williams paint that I'll be using and two of my canvases that are larger. They are 22 inches by 28 inches. I'm just going to do my base coat. I will probably do two or three coats of this paint so that I get a really nice um, even coverage. I'm going to let this dry a little bit while I go mix up my paint for the actual pendulum pour. So for my pendulum pour, I have my white mixed up with Sargent Art Gloss Medium and some water. And I have my 20 ounce pop bottle that I'm using and I'm filling it up most of the way so I have a really nice amount of paint. Um, the hole that I have drilled in the bottom of this is probably about 1 8 of an inch. I tried 1 16th before and it seemed like it was almost too small. So I'm going to have to just work on the size of the hole a little bit to see if I can get some better control over my paint and design. I've had some people ask what my setup is for this and I just have um, a bracket hooked into the ceiling and then a string tied to it so that I can just swing in any direction. I don't know if my paint was just slightly too thin in this, but I have a few areas where um, the paint is splashing a little bit and splattering across the canvas. So once this is all done, I'll be touching that up a little bit and you can do that while the paint is still wet or while it's dry. Or if you like the way that that looks because it gives it a little bit of character, you can just leave it as is. So this one turned out really nicely. Could actually be hung either vertical or horizontal. It actually looks really awesome um, with the design going uh, vertically this time. So that'll be something that I can test out to see which directions I can hang paintings um, instead of the way that I had originally thought that I would hang them when I was first painting them. But the colors in this one are very simple, um, but just that white against the blue background turned out really awesome. <laughs> 